Hey YouTube, this is Calvary Camper. I just wanted to give you an unboxing of the Mora Garberg in the carbon. Just kidding, I already opened it. I couldn't wait, I got too excited. But here's the box. It's got the uh, the sheath and the knife on the back. There's the, uh, the coveted thumbprint from somebody at Amazon, I'm sure. And yeah, the top view of the knife, the front of the knife poly sheath and the carbon steel blade and there's the specs you can read it all for yourself if you like carbon steel 4.3 inches on the blade 9 inches overall point, uh, 13 inches on the thickness 7.4 ounces on the weight you can use it with the fire steel and it's full of tang so yeah I tried looking up the story of the Garberg, the name, but I didn't find anything. I didn't really search very hard, so if you know, you could leave it in the comments below, and I'd like to read that. Uh, it talks about where it's manufactured in Mora, Sweden. Robust knife, scandy grind, you know, the carbon steel blade, the adventure knife. There's the warning. You know, it's easy to sharpen, but requires more maintenance. So make sure you keep it dry and, and clean and of course probably oiled. And there's the uh, warnings. And don't let a baby have your Garberg. Okay, there's that. And here's the the Garberg and the sheath. So yeah, I got this because well originally it started out with this this here is a robust I watched a, a video on that and I fell in love with Morris of course I used to watch Dual Survival back in the day and Cody Lundin had the Morris all the time but kind of piqued my interest because I liked his uh, thoughts on everything but anyways I watched the uh, Dutch um, bushcraft knives on YouTube and yeah I got a video up of this a review on this on my channel and a link to their channel on, on that video so yeah the more robust it is pretty robust these are supposed to be similar it's a carbon steel blade as well just beat up there's thicknesses they're you know they're not the same but they're a lot closer than say with the Garberg or the Consbol so yeah, here's the, the cons bowl. I got that originally the same style though, just with the sheath like this. And then I bought the multi-mount after the fact. And yeah, it has a, you can put straps through there to put it on your backpack or whatever. And it has that extra snap ring. So there's that for size comparisons. Move those out of the way. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, the cons bowl is my favorite, still is my favorite, so we'll find out if the Garberg will take number one spot there, I'm sure it will. It's a, it's a lot heavier compared to the cons bowl, but in the cons bowl, they both have the same size handle, just the cons bowl feels like lighter, and rubberier, like a softer feel to it. But they, yeah, they both are, it's like more came in and broke into my house and took a mold in my hand. And go, here you go, there's a, the handle for you. So I love it. I love the way it feels in my hand. It's just an awesome, awesome knife. At least in the comments, I haven't tried the Garberg out yet. That'll be coming soon. We plan on going camping very shortly. Do the overall here. Just to give you an idea, I know we already read through it, but the visual. And yeah, there it is. It's pretty sweet. It's got that fat blade. Big fan of some heavy duty knives, so you're not going to have to worry about breaking easily. Let's see how this holds up. Should be a great camp knife. Bush bushcraft knife that everybody uses it for already anyway, right? So yeah, it's just a little short 
short video on the unboxing and the uh, first impressions I guess you would say I think this one I got it for 77 I bought the cheapest one with which is is just this the poly sheath and the belt loop next would be what the you know like the uh, the multi mount and then I think the highest price one was the the leather sheath which looks pretty cool I wouldn't mind that but I just couldn't shell out the extra money for that might get a different sheath option in the future we'll see how how that looks but they seem pretty expensive as well so we might just roll with it and see how this goes so I just wanted to leave you guys with a scripture before we end and this one here would be in Proverbs chapter 18 and in verse 21 that's a very cool one death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit so the choice is yours it's all up in for you to voice it you know are you gonna walk with the Lord are you gonna choose life with Jesus Christ or are you gonna choose death so, so that's all in your hands not anyone else's it's only in your hands so I encourage you guys to walk with the Lord. If you're not, check him out. Read the Bible. Read your word. Listen to some pastors. You know, talk to some other Christians. Find out some more. You know, grow with the Lord. We can do both. We can do this camping stuff. You know, and the knife reviews, and still walk with the Lord. It's all possible. So there you go, guys. I just want you guys to stay blessed like and subscribe continue to look forward to new videos more reviews um definitely planning on getting some camping videos in this year for sure and if i can afford it some more gear reviews maybe some more knives if i can talk my wife into it <laughs> but we'll see it's uh the money's not always there but definitely can have a lot of time for testing these guys out and seeing which ones work the best so be blessed guys and thanks